Hi guys, today I'm going to be reviewing my Marmot Tungsten one person tent. So stick around. Thanks for sticking around guys. Um, if this is your first time joining me, welcome to ATOS Outdoors. My name is David. Um, my channel is all about my journey into the outdoors. So if that sounds like that's something you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. Uh, click the subscribe button down here in the bottom left and uh, click the bell icon to turn notifications on. That way you get notified when I release a new video. Right now that is once a week on a Wednesday. Okay, with that out of the way, Today's video is my review of the Marmot Tungsten one person tent. Uh, I've had this tent since mid, mid February, maybe. I bought it from a company um, over in Thunder Bay. I can't remember their name right now. I think it's Gear Up for the Outdoors. Uh, I will link them down below. Uh, they had a sale on last season's tents and uh, I got a, I think they would, had a 25% discount off the tent. So I got this for about 200 or so dollars, I think, 250, maybe, I'm not sure. Um, I'll pop it up on screen when I dug it out of my, uh, my records. Um, so this is the first one person tent I've ever owned. I have taken it out half a dozen times or so um, since I got it back at the start of the year. So a little bit about the specs of the tent, because I'm sure all of you gear nerds out there really need to know the, uh, the important specs. So the maximum weight of this tent is uh, 1,700 grams or 3 pounds and 12 ounces. The minimum weight of this tent is 1,588 grams or three pounds and eight ounces. So this is not the lightest of tents, especially for a one person. This is certainly by no means ultra light, but as far as I'm concerned, um, three and a half pounds for a tent or three and three quarter pounds for a tent is is pretty good um so i think of this as a light weight tent if not an ultra light tent uh and if i'm wrong please <laughs> comment down below and let me know uh how much of a hiking noob i am um okay so that's the weight out of the way for the marmot tungsten one person um the dimensions so it's actually a tapered tent. So it's wider at the head end and then it tapers down a little bit. So at the head end, it is 36 inches wide or 92 centimeters. And then it tapers down to 29 inches wide or 74 centimeters. Okay. It is 84 inches long or 214 centimeters. So for people that don't really know inches, that's just over two meters. So I'm 178-ish centimeters or 5'10", 5'11", and I fit in it very comfortably with a little room at my head for um, spare gear or warm clothes and things. Uh, and I can stick my shoes down at the bottom end. Generally speaking, size-wise, it's, it's, it's good enough for me and as you can see I'm not the smallest guy in the world. Um, height off the ground it is 38 inches so 97 centimeters so I can sit in there on my sleeping pad um, and I've got I've got some clearance. Um, not, not a great deal and as it is kind of domed um, I don't have a huge amount of clearance but if you sit in the middle by the door it's uh, it's great. So those are the stats for the Marmot Tungsten one person tent. So a few other facts about this tent. Uh, this tent is what's considered a freestanding tent. So you uh, set it up and it will stand up by itself. You don't need to um, tie out or stake down the guy lines um, to create tension to, to hold it up. So with the two poles provided and the six stakes provided, um, you can set it up and you're good to go. Um, one thing with that is when it comes to packing it away, one of my little tips, and that you, this may not be a new tip for you, but it was a new tip for me, um, take the fly off, open the door, tie the door open, and then shake all of the debris or any dirt and stuff out of the tent. So that's a, that's a little sneaky tip uh, for cleaning your tent after you're done with it. 
Another, another point uh, for this tent is it comes with a footprint. Now, if you really wanted to shave the weight, you could eliminate the footprint, um, but all the footprint does is it just, it mirrors the base of the tent and it's just to protect the base of the tent from the ground. Um, as I said, I've used this every time and it is still in great condition and the base of the tent is still in great condition. So I'd say it's, it's pretty hard, um, it's pretty hard wearing, you know, it's, it's got some, uh, I've camped on rocky beaches, I've camped on kind of foresty dirt and gravel and stuff um, and some grass and it's been it's it's been great. So it's everything I've put it through, it stood up to. Uh, one thing I do know is that a friend of mine has the ultralight version and they have noticed some of the mesh on the inside is um, not fraying, but it's just coming apart a little bit. It's showing a bit of wear, um, and they've not been they've not been uh, rough with their tent. So just bear in mind, this is for the Marmot Tungsten one person. They do also have the Marmot Tungsten one person ultra light. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. I'm not sure of the specs, but I will put them up here. Um, and as I said, the friend of mine that does have it um, has, has noticed a bit of wear and tear. Um, what else? What else? So I mentioned that the tent comes with two poles and six stakes. Uh, what I will do is I will set it up and then I will stake out the guy lines. So I, I use four stakes uh, for the guy lines on the corners, uh, one stake for the door, so to create a vestibule, and then one stake on the back of it. I don't think I have any footage of the back of the tent, but one thing I've noticed is, so you just have uh, down the back of the tent, you're able to um, stake out the fly and that can actually control the temperature really really well. Uh, I found the last couple of times I didn't use a I didn't use one of the stakes uh, because the ground needed the stake to go in quite deep and it wasn't quite long enough so I actually just uh, cut a stick um, so probably about that long I don't know nine inches something like that Ooh, nine inches um, so a decent, <laughs> decent size. Um, and I use that to hold uh, the, the fly away from the inner membrane. And that let a lot of air in and it lets a lot of air in just above the bathtub of the tent. So right where the mesh starts. And I did find a couple of times that I've done this it's actually been pretty cold in the night. Um, so if you are concerned about condensation, maybe have it open peg it out or stake it out a bit further, just be aware that it will lower the temperature within the tent, will let a bit of a breeze in. Of course, on the flip side, if it's particularly warm, by staking it out further away, creating that gap, it's gonna allow a little bit more airflow and keep you cool. Um, a couple of convenient things uh, about this tent is right in the middle of the dome, there is a hook. So I use that for hanging um, my headlamp or if I have a lantern in there, you can hang that on. It's pretty handy. Um, there's also, imagine I'm laying down in the tent. Um, just to the left of you, there is like a little organizer pocket with one main pocket and then a couple of mini pockets at the front. Um, so when I get into the tent, I chuck everything in there, keys, phone, uh, lighter, whatever I've else got in my pockets. Um, and then just up on the, uh, up on one of the beams, the front pole rather than beam, what are we, in a barn? Uh, on the front pole, there is a little, um, mesh triangle pocket. So I find that's ideal for my headlamp. So I'll take my headlamp off when I get into the tent, stick it in there, and I always put it in there. That way, whenever I wake up in the middle of the night, I know where my headlamp is in case I hear freaky sounds or there are monsters or um, as happened on one of the trips, um, a few deer are coming by and uh, you have no idea what that noise is and you panic a little bit. I didn't do that, but one of my friends did. So the last thing I will say about the Marmot Tungsten one person tent is it is pretty easy to set up. Uh, I hope you'll see from the footage um, that I've overlaid over this um, that it's, it's, it's pretty easy. You just, you lay it out, you put the poles together, clip the poles in, clip the tent to the poles, fly over the top, you're done, jobs are good and um, So it is, it can go up quick. So if you're out and you're caught in a bit of a downpour, it's not gonna get too wet. Um, and certainly I have, I've never timed myself putting it up, um, but it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty quick, it's a pretty quick one. It's, it's easy. Um, 
straightforward and it's color coded as well. Another point for the, for uh, Marmot is it is color coded. So not only is the um, the footprint color coded, so you can put the the base of the tent at the right end of the footprint, um, but the poles are color coded. Um, the poles are like a light green and then the end of one of each pole is a darker green um, and the part of the tent is a darker green too. So it makes it really, really easy to set up. It's, it's idiot proof. I can do it and I, before this, hadn't had a great deal of experience with it. So, um, my review of the Marmot Tungsten One Person Tent. Uh, as I said, it's freestanding so it's nice and easy to set up. Um, it is convenient. Um, with its uh, like little hooks and pouches and things, uh, it comes with a footprint. It's pretty hard, uh, pretty pretty tough too. I've you know, as I said, I put it through the paces. It's it stood up to what I put it through, um, and when I pack it away, I just I stuff it in my bag, and it's it survived you know being carried and rubbed around and things. So um, price wise. It's it's pretty good. The other some of the other big names like the Big Agnes and and things like that. You're looking at maybe double the price almost. So um, I was I was happy with what I paid for it. Happy with the value I've got out of it. One last thing to say about this is because it is a one person tent, you don't have that much room inside it, of course, because it's just for one person. Um, the vestibule is a decent size. It will cover my bag. It's keep, it'll keep my bag dry um, in the rain and stuff. So uh, the vestibule is a decent enough size for, what am I using? I'm using the Osprey Kestrel uh, 48. So when that's kind of got some stuff taken out of it, it fits in the vestibule. So the Marmot Tungsten one person tent has served me very well uh, and I can, I can recommend it, I can heartily recommend it to anyone that's looking for a, looking for a one person tent. So that's it, that's my review for the Marmot Tungsten one person tent. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, please, uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please click the subscribe button down here. Um, turn on notifications to be notified when I post a new video. Also, what tent do you like? What do you use for your backpacking adventures? Please comment down below and let me know. Um, if I ever do make it big, if I ever blow up on YouTube, maybe I will uh, invest in a new tent. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope I will see you again soon. Take care and bye-bye.